Hi everyone, welcome to Dear ABG, the segment where we answer listener submitted questions. I'm Janet. I'm Mel. I'm Janet. I'm Mel. And I'm Helen. I'm Helen. <laughs> I'm Helen, you know. I'm Janet. I'm Mel. And I'm Helen. our listeners submitted questions, we're going to start off by asking each other a random question. Today's random question is, what word do you always misspell? Oh god. <laughs> um, like all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a word I have been misspelling quite frequently, which is kind of ironic, is the word entrepreneur. Oh, that's a hard, that's a that's a hard word to spell. They get the E and U mixed up at the end. I spell it now. E E N T R E. Wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And It's harder. It's harder. <laughs> oh, is this a spelling bee or what's going on over here? But yeah, because I, I, we've been doing a lot of like outlines focused on entrepreneurship and like I do just kind of twist some of the letters around. So kind of embarrassing, but that's the word. At least you got most of the letters right. Yeah. 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 But I just don't ask you to spell it out loud. <laughs> How about you guys? Um. So it's funny because I actually have like a, a notepad saved on my iPhone where I write down the words that I don't, and there's only two right now, but um, broccoli. Oh, oh yeah, with a C and the L. Do you have, is there an S after broccoli? Like it's broccolis, right? Girl, Wait, what? Bell's <laughs> making up her own Sorry. language here. <laughs> Wait, what? what? When you say broccoli, it's broccoli. So why do you think there's an S though? I thought there was like a, it could have been like a, maybe a different word, but there's like a silent S at the end. What is the plural of broccoli then? Broccoli. broccoli. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm there's gonna, no I'm, world in where there's an S in. Okay, there's no broccoli. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, you guys, Acropolis? <laughs> Y'all, I have a communication degree. So that was supposed to be my embarrassing word, but... <laughs> oh, wow. One more. Boudoir. Ooh. Girl, what are you Googling? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Okay, how I would probably spell it, and it's probably wrong, B-O-U-D-I... O U R. Yeah, I, would, I, don't, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> there's, a, there's an I in there. There's a yeah. See, I but it's like where the I is. I don't know. Wait, but where's the S? There's an S. There's no S. How did the S jump from the rock? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Janet. Um. So for me, the word that more recently I've been misspelling a lot is occasion. Oh. I still can't the, because I don't always C forget. Or S. Yeah, if it's a C or the S that doubles up. And right now, I, is it C? It, it's C. It's a. C. <laughs> oh wait, it's, 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 it's O-C-A-S-S-I-A. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Are you sure? Yeah, she, she loves those S's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a list, so it's, I don't love S's, y'all. <laughs> Anytime there's a word, broccoli doubles up, yeah. you don't know which one doubles up. Yeah. All right, so the first question comes from Annie. She asks, for your arms, armpits, stomach, and leg hair, do you guys shave, wax, or do something else? Let's go from top down. <laughs> So starting with my head, I tweeze my eyebrows and I tweeze my, my little mustache too because I got I got hairs here too, okay? Before quarantine, I would always get my face threaded. So I have a lot of baby hairs along my face and I feel like because it does trap some of the hair follicles, mm. trap mm. the oils uh, on my face pretty like aggressively, I will get my face threaded too. So my armpits, I shave my armpits, my boobs. Sometimes there's like a <laughs> random straggle of a hair and I, and I always shave that. You shave yeah. your yeah. boob? <gasps> what is, what is, what is <laughs> that? That's so weird. Usually it's just like one like rogue ass hair, right? That's like growing out. Now I'll take it and like lightly just go, mm. I don't like <laughs> on my boob. Yeah, it's yeah. more like a doop yeah, to yeah, just yeah. like get it off. And she just asked like a boobs by the way. <laughs> Down here, below my belly button, I am shaving now because we can't get it waxed right now. Um, shave my legs, and then, you know, sometimes there's a toe hair too yeah. that you will... Uh... Um, I also, I thread my eyebrows. Since quarantine, I have not, so, and I haven't even really tweezed them because I don't want to like mess up the shape, so mm. I'm just sporting the caterpillars on my face right now. Uh, for my upper lip, I do tweeze. Mm. Um, and then the armpits. Um, so I had them lasered like last oh. year, but there's still like a little bit of like yeah. hair that sometimes is there. So I'll like do a little bit of the shave. You don't get no random boob hair? Yeah, I don't think I have hair on my boobs. I think when, especially when you're like hormonal or yeah. like things are- Oh. Yeah, yeah I'm always hormonal then. <laughs> Yo, how hairy are your nipples? 
And then the only other thing is just my legs, and that I will shave occasionally, although because we've been in quarantine, they've been just- You miss a very hairy part of your body. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that part, I uh, wax. Or, no, I sugar. Mmm, tasty. Sugar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but not since quarantine, so I, it's been a little, you know, a bit of a jump. Wild. <laughs> Hair is definitely one of my biggest insecurities. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was young. I, my eyebrows, I tweeze. I've never got them waxed or threaded. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a thing from when I was young. I just, I always had scored like thinner eyebrows. I said I shave my mustache because I've got a lot of hair. You shave it? Does it go back thicker? I don't know, you're all looking at it right now, so I'll do this. <laughs> I, I try tweezing, but it kind of hurts. It hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. You can uh, also bleach. I used to bleach, actually. I used oh, to bleach really? a lot, yeah. And I would forget, but bleaching really helps because then it's just kind of, you can't tell it's there. Mm. Armpits, ugh, yes. I struggle with this. I feel like I have to shave every day because mm. it's so bad. I've been wanting to get laser, but obviously now we can't. So I shave my armpits. I'm on the Helen's thing where the random nipple hair will pop up. You're a nipple shaver too? I'm not, I'm a nipple tweezer. I don't wax anymore because I, I mean, I used to get bikini wax and I honestly loved it because I feel cleaner. Like nowadays I, I do shave, but even though we're in quarantine and I'm not like dating anyone, I like to shave frequently because I just feel gross if like, if it's just untamed. Legs, for sure I shave. After a certain, certain while, I'm like, I can't stand the spiky feeling, so I like to shave. I, I even shave my knuckles sometimes and my toes. Yeah, it's just human. Yeah, sometimes you grow hair in places that you don't expect. Yeah, so. All right, so this next question comes in from June and she says, Hi ABG, I adore your podcast. The topics you've covered are so relatable and your talks have definitely made a positive influence on my personal and my work life. I'd love to hear about your travel habits. What are your packing essentials? Do you guys do face masks on airplanes? What are the best destinations that you've been to and what's on your bucket list? Looking forward to future episodes. All the best, June. Ooh, that's a lot. This is a fun one to answer because right now we're kind of limited in travel, so we can kind of just dream and imagine <laughs> and reflect back on old trips. Um, let's see, so the first part of the question was about what, how do we pack for travel, right? Uh, so I am a very minimal packer. I think especially when it comes to international trips, I like to fit everything into one carry-on. And so I go with like wow. very basic pieces. No. <laughs> so I will, I will generally, it's like two pairs of pants, maybe two pairs of shorts, um, like three to five tops, and then like a long sleeve. I, I try to like minimize and then get um, or pack clothing that you can kind of like mix and match. Mm. Um, so that's kind of my, my style. How about you ladies? Um. I'm not like Janet at all. Like I have a certain like suitcase I bring to international travel, it's like a larger one. And I do plan on my outfits actually. Cause like, I like to like, I think traveling is also a time where you explore your like, kind of experiment with your looks. So I do like to plan on my looks and you know, I, but I also try to make sure my looks can overlap each other. Um, based on the previous question, I for sure pack a razor cause gotta maintain my hair stuff, you know? And I do, I always pack a curler and like my hair products to protect my hair. So I think, yeah, I, I do, yeah, I do a lot of hair stuff actually. So mm -hmm. the, the two things I focus on really is a razor and my hair products. So that's those are the priorities. So if your bags mm -hmm. got lost, those are the two things that you would like mm -hmm. to prioritize. Oh, and my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessary, but. but. Oh, also a toothbrush. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. eyelashes over toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> but these are all things you can actually buy if you lose something. True. Oh, so it's nothing like, it's nothing Essential. super important. So yeah. Yeah. How about you? I think in the past I used to just like pack a bunch of different outfits, but now I plan very much ahead of time. Like how many days are there gonna be? Yeah. What's the weather gonna be like? And I will actually like wear the outfits to mm. confirm if I wanna wear them. So it actually takes mm. me a long time to pack. When I'm there, mm. I'm just ready to go and travel mm. instead of like, what am I gonna wear today? I already know true. what I have in my suitcase. Um, when I travel, I always have a crossbody bag. Oh mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll put my phone in there, my ID, um, a charging cable, and I also have wipes and uh, corded headphones so that I can like, mm -hmm. have that, you know, because you gotta use that on the airplane to watch movies and things like that. Um, and I always bring my uh, little stuffed dog, we can leave a photo here, his name is Benny, and he doubles as my neck pillow. Actually, I learned from Helen. So Helen, I noticed when we travel with her, she brings a fanny pack or the crossbody. Mm -hmm. Ever since I saw her do that, I got a fanny pack for myself because it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. Like instead of having a backpack and pulling out your passport and all that stuff, it's like having it in front of you. And then it's also like a security thing. It's like, I know where my money and everything is yes. right in front of me. So that's actually a really good tip I learned yeah. from Helen. And you can also sneak it in because it's like, oh, you can only have one carry on, mm -hmm. but it's like, oh, this yeah. part of my body. <laughs> Don't <laughs> this one. 
And it's funny because when as you guys are talking about the, your different packing or like your luggage style, when Janet's like, I'm very minimal. Like when I think her luggage, I'm just like, that's it? Yeah. And then there's one time I traveled with Helen and she had like two fucking suitcases. I'm just like, girl, are we moving there? Yeah, what? I was coming back from India. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went to Asia and you had two suitcases and a carry on. Okay, and so the next question was, what is the best destination that you've ever been to and what is on your bucket list? In the last couple of years, I really did enjoy my trip to London. Mm. Um, I did a little bit of a solo trip and that's actually a city that I would love to go back mm. to. Um, as much as I, I love like being out in nature and different things like that, I think there's something about city settings and visiting metropolitan areas that I still really, really like. And London is like a huge hub. London. So, yeah. yeah. I think a place I could always go back to is Tokyo. I just, mm -hmm. I think it's a blend of like, of being in Asia, I just love going to Asia and like the city life. Like there's something like the perfect blend and the food is amazing. My God. And everyone's so polite there. So I just like, I, I could go back to Tokyo almost every year if I could. Um, in terms of bucket list places, I have always wanted to visit like the Nordic countries. Mm -hmm. So like Switzerland, mm -hmm. um, just to see the Alps. Like, yeah, that is on my list for sure. Cause a bucket list, um, there's two stops that come to mind or two destinations. One is London. I think after seeing Janet going there, I'm like, wow, it looks so magical. And like, mm. I just want to explore. I've never been to London. Um, and the other one is obviously Switzerland. I, I, I actually, I've been to Switzerland, but I want to go back again after watching Crash. <laughs> I mean, like, hello. So those are my two um, destinations I want to go to next. Um, yeah. I also cannot pick one. Tokyo is probably my all time favorite city. Um, just to explore just like how nice people are mm -hmm. and how advanced technology is and everything and it's clean too. Um, that's probably my favorite place to be. Recently, I would say Banff in Canada mm -hmm. is just like the most pristine, beautiful, outdoorsy place that I've ever been. So highly recommend that. In terms of my bucket list, bucket list destination, I really want to go to Santorini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just looks very beautiful. I know it's like super touristy and um, just overrun by tourism, but it is a place that I just want to, you know, check out for myself. Honeymoon. Yeah, honeymoon destination. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> well, we'll be there too. <laughs> we just thought we weren't, we weren't into you. We're, we're honeymooning. <laughs> we always, you know, it makes sense. We are now at the segment where we have a voicemail from a listener that we're going to play. So I was wondering with this whole COVID situation, how you guys um, go about like traveling to schools to give talks and things like that, because that would be great if you can come to our school and talk to us. Um, I am in the veterinary field, so um, we only make up 1% of that field. So it'd be really great if you guys can come talk to us. Please let us know. Thank you. Bye. Aww. Very, very sweet message. Uh, so yes, before COVID started, we actually did um, go around to various schools and companies to do talks and different meetups. Um, because of everything with COVID, we haven't been able to do that in person, but we are still hosting virtual mm -hmm. meetings and hangouts and talks. So if your uh, company or your university is looking to bring um, us out for a talk, uh, we are more than happy to do that. You can send us an email at book.asianbossgirl at gmail.com. All right, and that concludes this episode of Dear ABG. If you have any questions for us, we have a form and a link in the description box or call us at this number around our booth. And we also have a podcast called Asian Boss Girl. You can find us on all of your podcasting platforms. We also have merch. This is actually one of our first, our first t-shirt. <gasps> this is our very actually, first. Very first. It's called the Mantra Tea. So it says A Boss Girl, A Boss Girl, A Boss Girl. Almost like you're writing it out in a journal. And it's like a mantra that you're saying to yourself. So you can find this at this link right over here, asianbossgirl.myshopify.com. And we'll see you on the next Dear ABG. Bye. Bye! I sound so stupid. Brockless? <laughs> that was pretty good though. Really like, I could tell it was genuine. I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> it's like the same situation with the toilet yeah, paper in the basket. Yeah, very oh, yeah. Like, Maybe there are people that would be like, yo, Mel, me too. Right? Yeah, or maybe yeah. it's like a different language. I'm going to Google this. Because when you did the toilet paper thing, people were like, yeah, in certain countries, you yeah. know, certain countries, they probably spell broccoli with an S. Yeah. <laughs>